Hello all. I am so happy to introduce ourselves and the course to be floated by us. Myself, Professor Ravi Subodhi, and my colleague, Professor Sumita Mishra, who is an expert in qualitative research. We are very happy to introduce this course, and these are the course instructors. This two credit. Eight week Soyam book certificate course has got eight weeks. In this brief video, we'll be just introducing the topic of week one, that is introduction to research. In week one, in particular, we'll be highlighting the need for doing research, what we do research, and the fundamental concepts. We also cover types of research and the stages of the research process. And in the subsequent weeks, the remaining seven weeks, these are the modules, topics that we'll be covering. And as you can see, the last week we have kept a mini research project and its evaluation, and of course we'll have the revision. In this certificate course, our objective would be to convince all of us, including us, how to have a research. Aaj self-motivated, self-satisfying research for knowledge creation. Then how to get ideas or interesting research issues. We'll be suggesting giving many examples, but our suggestion would be to read news magazines, research journals, and of course to follow the fellow researchers' work. And uh, to me and my colleague, Professor Misra, we really would love to learn from you through the interactions, virtual classrooms. We'll be starting with the definition of research. As we know, this is something like a search, investigation, and it could be with a set of techniques and principles. There will be discussion on the steps and stages of research process, how we'll be identifying the research objective, then how we'll be collecting data and analyzing step by step. And there will be a classification of different type of research. It could be quantitative, qualitative research. It could be other types of research, which we'll be discussing later. Now, as I'll be taking up the quantitative research part, I thought of highlighting one simple example of a researcher who studied about the possible relation association between retirement age and the age of the death. The data, as you can see, it is having a negative correlation. If one increases, other decreases, and the finding was very interesting that if one retires early, lives longer. As this is a brief video, I would be requesting my colleague, Professor Mishra, to take on quality research and give us a brief introduction, please. Hello, budding researchers. I'm very happy to collaborate with my senior colleague, Professor Rabi Subuddhi, on this two-credit, eight weeks, Vyam MOOC certification course titled Quantitative and Mixed Methodology Research. Because we are in the domain of mixed methodology research, which is basically calling for a fusion of research methodologies, we thought that we would offer a take on both quantitative and qualitative research to people who are interested in doing research in the domain of management within the broad purview of social sciences. Now, if you look, look at the domain of qualitative research, qualitative research has not seen too many years as the positivist quantitative research paradigm has. The first issue of qualitative research came into highlight in the topmost journal of the Academy of Management, which was Administrative Science Quarterly, in the December of 1979. Now, the reason why qualitative research came into prominence because there was a call for a need for balance between both quantitative and qualitative research methodologies within the diverse specializations in the management discipline. Now, since there was a call for balance in methodologies, 
over the years during the time that we have taught so many students in our university we see that one of the biggest issues that can crop up in any research is the empirical mismatch between the research paradigm research objectives research questions constructs variables tools of data collection and data analysis so if you look at the use of qualitative research and its relation to quantitative research we would like to make our point clear that both qualitative and quantitative research are not mutually exclusive that means if you do one you cannot be doing the other so typically if you look at the domain of mixed method research we can have a situation where we take up qualitative research first to explore the phenomena under investigation and then in order to take it at a broader scale we can continue with quantitative research on the other hand we can also do a separate mixed method research where we take up quantitative research first and generalize our findings but in case we receive findings which we are not able to explain typically through a survey research we can go in depth into it taking qualitative research in the same research design so this fusion is typically called as the q square methodology or popularly called as the q square methodology which embodies aspects of both qualitative and quantitative research designs in the same research that a person or a researcher is undertaking now to give you a flavor of qualitative research both quantitative and qualitative research are different in their form focus and the emphasis of study here i would like to give a small example for example let us say we are faced with two questions let's say our first question is what factors cause workplace deviant behavior so if you look at this this question this question is basically asking us to understand the antecedents of workplace deviant behavior whereas let's take an example of another question that how do employees perceive workplace deviant behavior now the form the emphasis and the overall focus of both the questions are different if we look at the first question in order to identify prominent antecedents of workplace deviant behavior we may embark on a quantitative study but when we come to a more interpretive understanding of what is meant by workplace deviant behavior from the perception of employees we may embark on a qualitative study so the area of focus may be one the area of research may be one but then depending on the kind of research questions that a researcher is posing we may decide to take up either quantitative research or qualitative research but there are several issues which stand out here now the first issue is the distance between the researcher and the research typically in qualitative research we see that the gap between the researcher and the researched is very very minimal because qualitative research is a in depth exploration into social processes the other important issue that stands out is the availability of data in a applied domain like management because there are many domains to which management researchers may not find direct access to now the third issue may be the challenge of a researcher to take complex sophisticated mathematical models vis-a-vis -vis very very loose flexible qualitative models and the last would be the viability of the research with any and every problem so these issues should be kept in mind when a researcher is embarking on a research journey because the worth of every research is determined by the viability the reliability and validity of the research that a researcher has done now if you were interested in reading further and exploring the world of qualitative research there are very interesting and important journals like qualitative inquiry and qualitative report now qualitative research would stand out rather as an approach and not a particular set of techniques which are looking at data analysis so to give you a flavor of the kind of methodologies that we would be talking about in this 8 week long course there are several methodologies which dominate the world of research in management they may be experiment to determine causality survey to determine generalization or the possibility of generalization archival analysis history case studies and so many and so forth 